Hey guys, NCS Fan 001 here, welcoming you to the road to my 87th Platinum Trophy. Uh, today's Platinum, and this is being recorded the day after Prototype 2, so two Platinums in as many days. Pretty happy about that. Uh, today's game is Puss in Boots. It is another kid's game. I am quite amazed that I have not gotten this Platinum before now. Why? I, I guess I waited for so long. I don't know why. It's kind of dumb that I did because this game is really, really easy and it's like, it's a three to five, I would say, hour platinum with no more than six hours. And that would be on the very, like, long end of it. And there it is. These eyes tell no lies. And the cat's whiskers. So, this game, basically, you take on the role of Puss in Boots, and you play through nine levels. Most of them are really short. And the trophy list, like most kids' games, is very easy. It's just, it's not even very time-consuming at all. It does have a lot of quick-time events and button mashing, unfortunately. That's one thing I really don't like about that game. But it's, it's not the worst game I've ever played. It's not that good, though. There have definitely been better kids' games that I've played, but, you know, it's okay. It has slightly more replay value than some of the others because it has a multiplayer that you could play for like maybe 45 minutes of enjoyment. Anyway, uh, like I said, it's a very easy Platinum Trophy and it takes three to six hours. Probably around four to five would be more accurate though. I, I could have completed it faster, but I screwed up a few things when I wasn't really focusing earlier. I've been... Actually, I've been trying to watch Attack on Titan while doing this binge-watching the entire Attack on Titan series, which I'm really, really enjoying, but uh, I'm through 14 episodes at the time this is being recorded, so looking forward to the rest of it. So basically, you've got... These are all uh, story-based trophies, I believe. Yeah, these are all the uh, story-based trophies. And none of those are really that difficult. And this one, you do have to do one multiplayer trophy, being this one, but you only need one controller to do it, which is kind of nice. Uh, you basically just have to play a best two out of three game, or actually you, it makes you play all three rounds for some stupid reason of any game and have someone win. Uh, that one's guaranteed. That one's guaranteed. That one's guaranteed. That one's guaranteed. Uh, that one can be a little bit trickier to get, but it's not difficult. Uh, that one, that one to get it, you have to, there are three times you have to use the guitar, and then you have to do it in each of the four areas of the game, I believe, to do it, or each of the three areas, I don't really remember. Uh, discover every type of trap, that was, of course, the last one I got. That one is very easy as well. That one, there's a decent guide for it on PSN profiles or just on YouTube. It's a good guide. It's just, it's actually pretty easy to figure out. Uh, that one's easy. That one's easy. Then you've got two other collectible trophies, but the collectibles are very easy to find. You don't even need a guide for them. Uh, this game, by the way, it's basically like an on-rails melee action game, which is really weird. But it is really heavily loaded with silvers, as you can see, which is actually makes it even more worth it. Uh, these are all, you have to do something perfectly along the way, which you'll have to do anyway, and I'll get to that in a moment. Then you've got get a high score on each of the four mini games. Uh, none of those are difficult for them. Yeah, none of those actually are difficult. And then uh, that one can be a little bit trickier because I didn't know you had to hold down R1 to go faster during that, but I got it easily after that. That one can be a little bit trickier as well, but still not bad. That one's just a bunch of quick time events. Uh, that's easy. And then bronze medal on every level, you're going to get that guaranteed. But then a silver medal on every level and a gold medal. To get a gold medal on every level, you basically, there's only nine levels, which is nice. And once you figure out how to do, like, perfect on the various events, you're going to be fine with getting the gold medal. You're going to get it pretty easily. But you basically have to get, like, perfect on a lot of the events, which usually requires you to do it pretty fast. Once you get used to the controls and everything for all of them, though, it's really not that difficult at all. So, it's a very easy game, and let me see, it was 142, was that my first trophy, or 128, and ended it at, 
around seven o'clock, basically. So that would be uh, that would be five and a half hours, but I took an hour for dinner earlier, so about four and a half hours for me to get. And I I should have gotten it faster, but screwed up a few times, and that's why I didn't get it. I had to go back to some levels for stuff. Uh, level 27, 74%, 5,313 trophies, so quite a few trophies recently. 87 Platinums, 425 Golds, 1,302 Silvers, 3,499 Bronzes. Uh, with that, 87 Platinums, I don't know what my next ones will be, but I'm currently getting very close on Borderlands, the pre-sequel for PS4. And I'm slowly getting there on the PS3 as well. And then I've got various other games to do as well as whatever Gamefly games I get in the future. So I'm hoping to hit 80 or I'm hoping to hit 100 by the end of the summer, but I can't guarantee that. That's what I'm hoping for, though. So hope you guys enjoy the video and see you next time.